Hello everyone, hope you're doing good. In this video, we are going to create a USB recovery drive, which we can call it Windows Installation Media. This will be a complete tutorial and you won't have to watch any other video after watching this. This will be one of the perfect solution if you face any kind of issues with the Windows, any kind of corruption with the computer. With the help of that USB recovery drive, you can always repair or reset your computer. Please make sure you watch the whole video and you will be able to do it by yourself. It's a step-by-step -step process. So let's go ahead and do that. Now open any of your favorite browser and once it is opened, here we need to type Windows 10 or Windows 11 download. We are going to create a Windows 10 installation media. So I'll just click on that and we need to go to download Windows 10 Microsoft. So once you open the link, it will open up like this. And I will mention this link in the description box as well, so that you can open it. Once you open it, you will see a window, create Windows 10 installation media. Here we have many options, using tool, more download options. We don't have to do anything. We just need to click on download tool now and a very small file of 18 MB will be downloaded. Once it is downloaded, you just need to click on open file. And it will ask you to say yes. And the moment you say yes, it will open up a new window like this. The overall procedure will not take much time. So it's actually preparing right now. now this is the important part. What do you want to do? Now here, you need to make sure are you going to upgrade or you're trying to create an installation media. So here in this option we need to select create installation media. Now please make sure you do not select the first one else it will start upgrading your computer. So we need to select this create installation media, USB flash drive, DVD or ISO file. Currently you do not have to plug in the USB drive. I will let you know when is the right time to plug in the USB. So we will select this and we will click on next. Now from here we can change the language. You can select UK or I'll just you just need to uncheck if you want to change anything here. So you can select UK, United Kingdom or United States or any other language which you want to select. You can select it from here. I'll keep United States and from here you can select Windows 10. If you're using 32-bit system, which is very rare, you can select that. Else, if you do not know, take a bet on 64-bit. Now, once this is done, just click on Next. Now, choose which media to use. Now, USB flash drive or ISO file. So here, you do not have to select USB flash drive. You need to download the ISO file. So once you clicked on this, ISO fly, ISO file, click on next and here it will ask you to say, uh, save the location so you can save the desk, you can select the desktop or any other location where you want to save your file. So once you save it, please make sure you have at least 5 to 6 GB space remaining because it will take another 5 to 6 GB space. So I have already downloaded it, so I will not do that. I'll show you where exactly I have downloaded the ISO because we just have to make sure that the ISO has been successfully downloaded. And once it is downloaded, we need to visit a website. Now we need to burn this ISO on the USB and the best way to do it, open your browser and here we need to, let me just open up the Google here. And here we need to type Rufus. Please make sure you type exactly the way I am. Rufus and hit enter. Now the very first result will come Rufus.ie. Rufus create bootable USB drives the easy way. And it is actually an easy way. You can see Rufus from Wikipedia. It's available in 38 languages and it's a pretty well well known program. So here we just need to click on that link and 
we need to download the file so from here you can download this 1.3 mb file or you can click here just to download and install so once you have downloaded and installed the rufus here we need to select the device now it's the right time to plug in the usb and once you are plugged in once you have plugged in the usb here you need to select the device now the device will be your usb flash drive now if you're not sure that which drive it is you just need to click on this file explorer go to this pc and from here see what exactly the letter for that usb and once you have confirmed it select it from here and boot selection now this is the location where we have downloaded the iso so if you have downloaded the iso on your desktop from here by just clicking on the select option you need to select that iso and the partition scheme will be mbr and target bios or uefi and here you can volume the label you can mention anything like that you can mention windows 10 recovery drive so after giving the volume name here the file system it is a very important part from the file system from fat32 you need to make sure that you select ntfs now ntfs stands for new technology file system and once you have selected please make sure the default size is 4096 and here you just need to click on start and once you do that the whole procedure might take 15 10 15 or maybe 20 minutes and once this is done you just need to eject the drive from here by just doing a right click in this icon just click on this up arrow key and do a right click in the icon of that usb and eject it so in this manner you can create the usb recovery drive and you can use it this will be very helpful for future let's say if you face any kind of uh, virus problems or windows corruption with the help of that recovery drive you will be able to reset your computer and repair your computer i hope this tutorial has helped you please hit the like and subscribe i'll see you in the next video have a wonderful day guys one more thing which i forgot to mention that if you are unable to make the usb recovery drive for any xyz reason uh, you tried and it didn't work for you you can let me know in the comment section let me know what exactly the error you need to be descriptive what exactly the error you have faced and i'll surely try my best to fix your problem and please also let me know if you do not want rufus you just want windows to create the usb recovery drive i'll create a new video for you guys for that you don't have to install the rufus or any other software within the windows itself you will be able to create the usb recovery drive so please let me know in the comment section and i'll see you in the next video thanks for watching this video have a wonderful day take care